In this video, we would be solving this question which says in her communications course, Nancy also takes two examinations. Her overall grade for the course will be the maximum of her score on two examinations. Nancy decides to spend a total of 400 minutes studying for these two examinations. If she spends M1 minutes studying for first exam, she her score on this exam will be X1 which is equal to M1 divided by 5. And if she spends M2 minutes studying on her second examination, her score will be X2 which is equal to M2 divided by 10. With this information, we are asked in the graph below, draw the budget line showing the various combination of scores in two exam that she can achieve with a total of 400 minutes of studying. On the same graph, draw two or three indifference curve for Nancy. On your graph, draw find the point on Nancy's budget line that gives her best overall score in the course. Now, this question might seem a bit difficult and tell us that this is M1 divided by 5, M2 divided by 10, this is a maximum function. So, let's first break it down what all information we have from here. Firstly, that Nancy takes two examinations. Let the score on first examination and we know that the score on first examination is X1. This is a score first exam. And next two is the score on second exam. Next, we are given that overall score would be the maximum of two exams. That means if she wants to maximize the score, that would be her utility function in our context. So your utility of x1, x2 would be equal to maximum of her score on two exams. That means the score maximum of this and this maximum of score on first exam and that of on second exam. Next is Nancy decides to spend a total of 400 minutes studying for these two exams. If she spends M1 minutes studying for first exam, her score is this and for M2 this is this. Now, here if we want to draw the budget line, Necessarily, Nancy does not have any monetary income so that she can divide this into yes, I would spend this much on good one, this much on good two. Rather, she has total time available with us, which she wants to budget. That means she wants to decide how much time should I allocate to good one or to subject one or to exam one in this case. And how much time should I allocate to exam two? And the total time she has is equal to 400. So that means time to first exam plus time to second exam and their sum should be equal to 400. We are given that she spends M1 minutes on first exam and M2 minutes to second exam. This is her total time she spends on studying on that exam should be equal to 400. Now, we want to sketch the graph. What we have is on x-axis, we have score on test 1, which is nothing but your x1. And y-axis, we have score on test 2, which is nothing but x2. If I draw this budget line m1 plus m2 is equal to 400, I cannot draw on this graph because for that, I would be needing the graph having the axis showing m1 and m2. But what I have is the graph having the axis with x1 and x2. That means I, if I can change this m1 to x1, then I would be easily able to draw my graphs. I have an equation with me that x1 is equal to m1 divided by 5. Cross multiplying, I am able to get 5x1 is equal to m1. So let me substitute into this. That would be 5x1. Plus, again, I also have that x2 is equal to m2 divided by 10. Cross multiplying I have is x 10x2 is equal to m2. Substituting this, I have is 10x2 is equal to 400. This is my budget line. Now here, don't get confused that I have to substitute m1 divided by 5 or m2 divided by 10 into your utility function or how do I incorporate this into my solution. Firstly, think that here it is given to us that your utility function takes the form of maximum of scores on both the subjects. And your scores are x1 and x2. 
So this remains very simple that you have firstly you have score on first exam and score on second exam and this is your maximum of x1 and x2. You could have translated this into other way around where we could have your maximum of m1 comma m2 and then your budget line would be of the form m1 and m2 but then your graph would also change. So see what all is given in the question and what all question is asking. Since the question is in terms of score, that's why I have translated everything in terms of score. Now the question is very simple for us. Firstly, the question is asking us to draw the budget line which has this equation. So from a basic geometry, you can easily draw this line which would look like this red line. Now next the question says, on the same graph, draw two or three indifference curve for Nancy. This is the equation of a utility function and since it is a maximum function, your graph would look like inverted ends. Having the kink where these two quantities are equal. Hence, they would look like these. These are inverted ends. Lastly, the question says on your graph, find a point on Nancy's budget line that gave her the best overall score in the course. See here is a trick. In case so you have a utility function of u of x1 comma x2 is equal to max of x1 comma x2. Maximum means if she uh, does not study for first exam. Suppose her x1 is 0. And if x2 take even any smallest value then the score would be of some suppose she scores half a point of the second exam then the maximum of these two is 0.5 and if she scores x2 on first ex on second exam and anything suppose points again one point on a first exam then her score would be this now why i have taken these extreme scenarios is that mm -hmm. In case of maximum, it does not make sense that she studies for both the exams. Now consider a scenario that she studies for both the exams. And she is able to score in first exam, she scores 4. For x2, she scores 5. Then she is able to get 5. That means whatever effort she put into this exam, all went in vain. So it may, in case of maximum, there is always a boundary solution and it makes sense to study only for one exam and leave the other. So if I draw multiple indifference curve, they would look like this. And one that is touching my budget line. One which is corner solution here and another one is giving the corner solution here. Clearly, this is the highest indifference curve that she has. Now, in case of this indifference curve, her score would be something approximately 25, 25. In case of this indifference curve, when it is touching this boundary, her score on each exam is 40. As on axis, we have score. And in case of this score is 80 and 80. And she would be like, she would want to have the maximum score. This is the point on Nancy's budget line which gives her the maximum score and this point has the coordinates of 80 comma 0 means that she ignores the se second exam completely and only focuses on first exam which also makes sense her second exam is comparatively difficult that now how is that that if she spends m1 minutes then a score on first exam is m1 divided by 5 whereas in case of second exam it becomes m2 divided by 10. That means her score, she has to work really hard to get score on her second exam. So what she does is she completely ignores that exam and only focuses on the first exam in order to maximize her score. Now moving on to the next part, it says given that she spends a total of 400 minutes studying, Nancy will maximize her overall score by achieving a score of dash on first exam and da uh, dash on second exam. In the previous uh, part, we figured out that her best consumption bundle is 80, 0. The consumption bundle is of the form x1, x2 because we had score on test 1 on x-axis and score on test 2 on y-axis. So mapping this, my x1 becomes 80 and x2 becomes 0. 
So her score on first exam becomes 80 and this becomes 0. Which you can clearly see from here as well that this is the point of a consumption which has the coordinates of 80, 0. So her score on test 1 is 80 and score on test 2 is 0. Next part says her overall score for the course will then be her scores are defined by a maximum function which is maximum of scores on both the subjects. If she is operating at this consumption bundle that would be the 80, 0. So this is maximum of 80, 0 since x1 is 80 and x2 is 0 and maximum of this is obviously 80. So this means her overall score for the course would be 80. It, in case of maximum, there is always a boundary solution. Do remember such key points while in your exam because these key points help that in your minimum case, you have an integer solution. In maximum case, you have a boundary solution. So since it was a, a maximum case, clearly it was a boundary solution which was 80, 0. That means she's only going to consume one good or only going to work on first exam in this particular case. So that was all for this video.